Welcome. Today we're going to be exploring the lives of medieval peasants, one of the most important and often overlooked groups in medieval society. Medieval peasants were the lowest class of feudal society in Europe during the Middle Ages. They were also known as serfs. They were responsible for producing the food and other goods that sustained the society. They were generally very poor and had very little in the way of personal possessions. Peasants lived and worked on the manor, which was a large estate that was owned by a lord. The lord was responsible for providing protection and justice for the peasants who lived on his land, and in return, the peasants were required to work the land and pay the lord a portion of their crops and livestock. Peasants were also required to perform various other duties for the lord, such as working in his household, tending to his animals, and performing repairs on his buildings. They also played a role in the military, providing soldiers for the Lord's army during times of war. Join us as we delve into the lives of medieval peasants and learn about their daily struggles, their contributions to society, and the ways in which they found joy and fulfillment in their simple lives. Housing Medieval peasants typically lived in small houses made of wood, stone, or a combination of the both. These houses were often very basic and simple, and they were designed to meet the basic needs of the people who lived in them. Peasant houses were usually small and cramped, with one or two rooms for the entire family. They often had thatched roofs made of straw or reeds, which provided some protection from the elements but were prone to leaking. The floors were often made of packed earth, and the walls were often made of wattle and daub, a mixture of mud and straw that was used to fill in the gaps between the wooden frames of the house. Peasants' houses were often located in small villages or on the outskirts of towns and cities, where the peasants could work the land to grow crops and raise livestock. They were usually built close together, forming tight-knit communities of people who supported one another through the ups and downs of life. Despite their simplicity, medieval peasant houses served as important centers of family life and community. They provided shelter and security for the people who lived in them, and they were places where families could come together, cook and eat meals, and spend time together. Clothing Men's clothing typically consisted of a tunic, trousers, and a hat. The tunic was a knee-length garment made of coarse fabric that was worn over a linen undershirt. Trousers were also made of coarse fabric and were worn under the tunic. Peasant men often wore a hat to protect their heads from the sun and the elements. Women's clothing was similar to men's, but generally consisted of a longer, ankle-length tunic worn over a linen undershirt. They might also wear a head covering, such as a scarf or hood. Both men and women wore shoes or boots made of leather or other durable materials. Peasants' clothing was functional and practical, designed for work rather than fashion. It was often made of rough, homespun fabrics and was not as finely made as the clothing worn by the nobility. Despite their simple clothing, peasants were often depicted in medieval art and literature as being hardworking and resourceful. Work Most peasants worked as farmers, tending to crops and livestock on the land. They grew a variety of livestock, including grains such as wheat and barley, as well as vegetables and fruits like peas, beans, and apples. They also raised livestock, such as cows, pigs, and sheep, for their meat, milk, and wool. In addition to farming, peasants also engaged in various other forms of work to support their families and communities. Some peasants worked as craftsmen, creating goods such as pottery, clothing, and tools. Others worked as blacksmiths, carpenters, or weavers, producing a wide range of items that were needed in their communities. Some peasants also worked as laborers, performing tasks such as construction or mining for a wage. Peasants worked long hours and their livelihoods were often at the mercy of the weather and the whims of their lords. Diet Medieval peasants ate a diet that was simple and basic, but it varied depending on the region and the resources available to them. The main staples of the peasant diet were grains such as wheat, oats, and barley, which were used to make bread and porridge. Peasants also ate a variety of vegetables, including peas, beans, onions, and root vegetables such as carrots and turnips. They also ate fruits like apples, pears, and berries when they were in season. Protein was an important part of the medieval peasant diet, and peasants ate a variety of meats, including pork, beef, and poultry. They also ate fish and eggs, and they used milk and cheese from their livestock in their cooking. Peasants ate most of their meals at home, and they often cooked over an open fire using a cauldron or a pot. Meals were simple and consisted of a few dishes, 
often served all at once on a trencher, a large piece of bread that acted as a plate. Peasants also drank ale, beer, or wine with their meals. Overall, the medieval peasant diet was simple and basic, but it provided the nutrients and energy needed to sustain the hard-working lives of these important members of society. Having Fun Medieval peasants had very little leisure time, as most of their days were spent working hard to support themselves and their families. However, they did have some opportunities to relax and enjoy themselves. Peasants often participated in festivals and celebrations, which were an important part of medieval life. These events were often tied to the seasons or to religious holidays, and they provided a chance for people to come together and have fun. Peasants might participate in dancing, singing, and other forms of entertainment, and they often enjoyed feasting on special foods and drinks. Peasants also found ways to relax and have fun in their daily lives. They might play games, such as chess or dice, or they might engage in hobbies like knitting, weaving, or woodworking. Some peasants also enjoyed hunting or fishing as a way to relax and spend time in nature. Overall, medieval peasants had limited opportunities for leisure and entertainment, but they made the most of what they had and found ways to enjoy themselves and have fun. Wartime During the Middle Ages, peasants were sometimes required to serve as soldiers for their lords. This was especially common during times of war, when lords needed to assemble an army to defend their lands or to participate in military campaigns. In some cases, peasants were required to serve in the lord's army as part of their obligations as serfs or feudal tenants. In other cases, peasants might be recruited or conscripted into the army in exchange for pay or other benefits. Peasants who served as soldiers were generally equipped with simple weapons such as spears, axes, and shields, and they were often assigned to the infantry, where they were used as cannon fodder in the front lines of battle. Peasants were not trained soldiers and often had very little military experience, so they were often at a disadvantage in combat. Despite their lack of training and resources, peasants often played a crucial role in medieval warfare. They were often willing to fight and die for their lords, and they were often used to overwhelm the enemy through sheer numbers. In some cases, peasants were able to use their knowledge of local terrain and guerrilla tactics to their advantage, and they played a key role in several important military victories throughout the Middle Ages. We hope that this journey has given you a deeper understanding and appreciation for the lives of medieval peasants. Join us again soon as we continue to explore the rich and fascinating history of the Middle Ages. Thanks for watching.